friends, myself Darshan Savla here on behalf of Dress My Craft and today I'll be teaching you all how to make these beautiful paper flowers and these paper flowers are made from our soft oriental paper along with the help of the groove golf tools and can you see how beautiful and pretty cute little this brooch and I'll be teaching you how to color the flowers, how to emboss the flowers in very simple and easy methods. So let's get started. To start with this brooch, I have used this dye that is from Dress My Craft and this is pointed daisy flower. It comes in five sizes and we can select the sizes differently that I, whichever we need to make these and I have used this dye. I have used the leaves from this dye. This is the daisy flower dye from Dress My Craft and these are a set of groove golf tools that have been used they are coming in different four sizes so we will be selecting the sizes as per the size of our work or the size of our petals to color these two flowers i have used the archival inks so one is the buttercup and the other one is the rose madder and to color the leaves that are around the flowers I have used fern green and cobalt all the four are archival inks and here you can see I have selected this three different sizes for this particular small tiny brooch step one what I would be doing is I would be start coloring the petals with the help of archival inks so I'll be using the finger dabbers and take buttercup color and rotate this on the craft sheet this is the thick craft sheet from dress my craft and from the center i would be shading it moving upwards making sure that the color lightens as you move upwards and we would be coloring the front and the back both Archival inks really help you not to spread the color in spite of dipping the paper in water. These are permanent inks. For rose madder, you take the color, remove the excess on the craft sheet, rotate your applicator and start shading it from the center going outwards leaving the tips a little bit white. Do this in the front and back both. Once we finish the coloring, I would be dipping these petals in water and we will start embossing. We taking these petals, I will dipping them in water for barely 2 to 3 seconds. This will help the paper get a little softened. And if you notice the soft oriental paper is highly water absorbent it is highly color absorbent and it is highly pliable pliable means in spite of dipping the paper in water and embossing it the paper is never ever going to tear it's a real magical paper so after two to three seconds i have removed the petals on the tissue and i dab it once again from the top making sure that the excess water has been absorbed by the tissue after this, I would be embossing the petals on the embossing pad. This is the embossing pad from Dress My Craft and also this is a perforating pad. So perforating pad is useful to give kind of you could say a small piercing holes in the center and the embossing pad helps you to emboss the petals very smoothly without giving any pressure. So I have chosen two tools. One is the mini groove golf tool and one is the small groove golf tool so for the smaller size of petals I will use the mini and for the larger petals I will use the medium now on the soft embossing pad with the help of the groove golf tools making sure that you place the golf, golf tool not outside the paper not inside the paper but exactly on the starting tip and I will be giving a very mild pressure and making sure that the petal starts curling in the paper is so soft that it really helps the petals to curl them very neatly smoothly without giving any kind of a crunchy lift effect 
without creating any kind of cracks it is super smooth super soft and there is no need to give heavy pressure at all and the embossing pad really also equally supports you so can you see how beautifully all the petals start curling in and once it dries you can really see the groove tool lines right in the center of the petal i'll be taking the small tool for the larger petals place the tool right on the tip and pull a line making sure that the petals curl upwards so as you see the petals start curling upwards the flower start taking a very beautiful shape and you would get very nice neat precise lines right in the center of the petal and this is really looking so pretty so beautiful and this is really really beautiful can you see the lines they are really 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 quite easy and prominent to see now the time comes to do some little magic i'll be taking the heat gun and i'll be heat setting this paper and making sure that i move around my heat tool and do not hold it in one position this helps the paper to get more stiff and more hard and here you can see the petals or the paper start shrinking and once you see them shrinking they really start looking very 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 natural so this is the most exciting part of this paper it's really magical and can you believe it really makes the paper very hard you can make it out by the sound of this that it has really 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 turned the paper hard after this comes the time to emboss the petals once again on the soft embossing pad i'll flip over the petals and i'll be using the ball tool so the size how you're going to select is you would be taking the diameter of the center of the flower and then selecting the size of the petal press it down and make sure that you get a nice cupped look this is what will make the petals really stand upright and you will get a very beautiful formation right in the center now i'll press this on the bigger petals as well so for the bigger petals i have used the bigger ball tool this would give me a real nice and a beautiful cupped effect so can you see how the petals start taking a shape the most exciting part is the formation of the flowers and i'll be using this excellent glue that is tacky glue from dress my craft it is really 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 tacky can you see it doesn't even drip down it is that hard and it is that solid but just a best 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 glue for flower making technique and you apply the glue very little right in the center place these petals right in between the center and make sure that you place them alternating alternating means making sure that one petal is in between two petals and with the help of the ball tool i will position them in its correct place the ball tool really supports me to give a nice deep dent at the same time you would be getting the flowers ready so can you see this is the largest size this is the second size and this comes a third size where i have added some kind of a nice tiny pollen with a bead headed i will quickly show you all how to make this bead headed pollens and these are absolutely teeny mini ones in which we would be putting in these wire pollens so i'll show you how to make the pearl headed bead pollens and how to insert these wire pollens into these miniature flowers take the pearl headed beads i take a wire pollen and i cut it into half so i get this in two different parts and this is the smallest size i take the ultimate glue and i place the glue making sure that it is a little thicker what happens is if it is a little thick it will hold the pearls perfectly these are micro mini pearl beads from dress my craft and i'll be pouring the pearls on this making sure that it picks up the shape very beautifully if i dip the pearls may not fit in well and the glue could slip out so this really makes the work very beautiful and in case if you find these pearl beads popping out so what you could do is you could simply press them from the sides and you would get a very beautiful shape 
of the pearl headed bead which is going to be inserted right in the center of the pollen so this is really something very pretty and very beautiful so here is my big petal and now i would be using my perforating pad to prick a hole right in the center of the flower petal to prick a hole in the center of the petal i use my golf tools i use the back end of the tools and if you notice these are you know it's tapering and it widens so depending upon the number of pollens you want to insert you can decide the size of the prick once i put this down and the perforating pad really helps me to get a perfect hole right in the center now i take the pearl headed bead and i put very little glue right in the center and you place this down here and push it insert it and can you see a very 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 beautiful and a cute little filler flower which i have created to complete the brooch exactly in the same manner if you were to having only how to put the pollens you will take this tiny little smallest size from the die you prick a hole right in the center and you simply put glue at the bottom that is very little and you pierce in this pollen and can you see this so this is a miniature flower this is a little bigger in size this is the next size and this is a little bigger size so combining this 3 to 4 sizes i will complete the formation of the brooch before i do the final arrangement on the brooch i would like to show you all how to make the center of this flower very beautiful with the help of the glue and mine the pearl beads so what you can do is you take your ball tool you dip it in the glue here take some glue here and you put the glue right in the center here so and these are flower pearls from dress my craft these are mixed in different sizes i pour over these mixture of flower pearls right in the center and i remove the excess now thereafter you can see some particles of glue right in the center and that is because the flower pearls are rounded they do not hold the center so well so what we would be doing is i'll be sprinkling a little rainbow glitter from dress my craft and i'll be sprinkling this little glitter right in the center of the flower so this really adds on to the very beautiful effect of the glitter right in the center of the flower and you can see you can see the sparkle of the glitter as well as the flower pearls so glitter will take spaces of the glue and make the flower look more beautiful to make the base of this brooch these are the polka dots paper dots and stripes paper pattern paper pack from dress my craft and this is the brooch clip on the back so i have taken the circle punch that is around 1 and 1/2 inch or 2 inch whichever you would like to have and we would be punching out the circle so once i have the circle out here i will be placing this brooch from dress my craft on the back of this with the help of the ultimate glue thereafter i would be taking these satin cords these satin cords are available in various sizes so these are all satin cords with different colors you can use different colors as per the colors of the flowers and this is i have just made a loop and tied a knot down here i'll be pasting this here and this is a cute dress my craft logo she would be right there on the right side and i'll start making my flower arrangement i'll be using these leaves in the foliage on the background so i'll be taking first the fern green color and then i would be taking the cobalt blue color archival inks so i'll be coloring fern green on the front and on the back thereafter whenever you have to deepen the greens you use the blue so i use the blue cobalt and from the edges i start distressing it making sure that the edges look a little darker than the lighter in the center so you get a darker edge outline of a green shade can you see this 
and same thing I would be doing on the back. Here after I will be dipping these leaves in water for around say 2 to 3 seconds and I will remove it out and I would be embossing them with the medium groove golf tool in the center. So after 2 to 3 seconds just remove the leaf out and place the leaf on a soft tissue. Dab this once making sure that excess water has been absorbed by the tissue. Place it on the soft sponge and what we would be doing is if you notice this is on a curve. So make sure that you move your groove tool in the curve along the shape of the leaf. So right in the center you use the groove tool and very beautifully the leaves start curling up and starts looking very 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 natural. For the final arrangement I will be using the glue gun. So making sure that this is the top of the brooch. You take this glue gun, put it a little on the ribbon and first thing we will be placing the ribbon. Once the ribbon is placed, I will place this cutie pie here right opposite. Once this is done, I will take this big flower and put some glue down here and place it up. I will take the second color, a smaller size of yellow and I will place it down here. Thereafter, I have taken these two tiny flowers and once after the first flower ends, you start with the second flower and we use the green floral tape to wrap it around. I cut the floral tape in two parts so that it really doesn't accumulate too much and you bunch it up. After you finish bunching, we decide the size how much we want it big or small. So I think that's pretty long. I'll cut it little and I'll place this tiny little filler flower here. This gives a very 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 pretty and a cute look to the brooch right now comes the time to place the leaves i would take these leaves fold them into say one third or one fourth or half making sure that it really looks very natural put some glue and place it right down there this adds some foliage <coughs> foliage and it makes it look very nice so I add say maybe two or three leaves as per how much I would feel sufficient. So this makes the brooch complete. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching this video and I hope that you all make this soon. Thank you for watching us and if you want to see more and more brooches, please do not forget to subscribe on our channel and here are more for you all to see. Please do not forget to see them and subscribe the channel. Thank you once again.